Check it, we in Holland, we at the Giro. This is Arno Demar's bike. This is 2016 Milan San Remo winner Arno Demar's Lapierre Zelius SL. Demar is one of the very few riders on the team who gets a custom painted frame. So previously, when he was French champion, he had a French champion's frame. And after he lost that jersey, he kept most of the French champion colors just without the red. So he's gone for a blue and white color scheme this year. It's a very different looking frame. Actually, for me, it harks back to the GT triple triangle mountain bikes of the late 90s with this little thing here. The seat stays go either side of the seat tube as well. It creates quite an interesting look from the view I've got back here. And Demar chooses to ride a size large because they've left the frame size sticker on. Like many, if not most, Shimano supported World Tour cycling teams, FDJ have in fact got the full complement of Shimano components. So finishing kit, Demar is riding a pro straight up inline seat post. That's carbon fiber. He's got a pro vibe sprint, a really beefy stem. That's just the handle or the power transfer when you're sprinting the last few hundred meters. And he's got pro alloy handlebars with a classic drop. Wheels are Shimano. For now, he's on Shimano's Dura Ace C50 tubular wheels. The group set is Dura Ace Di2. So he's got Dura Ace Di2 shifters here. He goes without the sprint shifters in the drops seen a couple of sprinters do that now actually but he does have a satellite shifter up on the tops just for when he's cruising and climbing or even going over cobbles that's a good position to be able to change gear from Dura Ace Di2 front mech and that has a K edge chain catcher a Dura Ace Di2 rear mech and he's got a Shimano chain set with an SRM power meter he actually links the SRM power meter up with a Garmin head unit or similar, because that's the mount that he's got up there. The Mars cranks are 175 millimeters in length and his chain rings are 5339. And speaking with the mechanics, Demar only ever goes with a 53, so he never, never chooses a bigger chain ring for faster sprints. The cassette on this bike is a Dura Ace 1 and that's 11 through to 28, and the chain is Dura Ace 2. The last bit of Dura Ace, no, the second last bit of Dura Ace rather, the pedals and the brakes are Dura Ace 2. So the front one is a dual mount and the rear one is the standard mount. FTJ are a physique sponsored team and the Italian saddle brand offer a huge range of saddles and out of that range Demar has gone for the Arione VS so that's the Arione a very very popular model within the pro cycling ranks and the VS denotes the fact that it has a channel down the middle just to relieve a bit of pressure. The bottle cages are supplied by Elite and they are Elite Cannibal bottle cages. I think they're carbon fiber. Yeah probably. When we took this bike off the Francaise de Jeux mechanics to come and film it, they actually spent a lot of time talking us through the precise details and exactly how Demar likes his bike set up. So I thought we'd share a few of those with you. Starting at the brake levers. Now, Demar clearly isn't a small guy. He's on a large frame after all. And, but what he does like is he uses Shimano's reach adjust feature in their levers to wind the levers as close to the bars as possible. And that could explain why he goes without sprint shifters. Actually, I'm gonna just hop over here for now because when you're on the drops now, his shifters are so close to his hands that you know he doesn't need an extra position here to shift because he can just shift while sprinting in the drops by the lever. That's pretty cool. Most sprinters actually have a pretty slammed position. That is, they get their stem as low as possible, but it's really rare to see this. And he's not even got a headset cap on here. It's just the, the stem is slammed right on top of the headset bearings. We've actually just seen the mechanics jet washing the bike. So I'm guessing that, you know, you take into account jet washing, the fact this bike races in the rain all the time, like probably replacing those headset bearings really quite regularly. It's not something we'd recommend that anyone at home does, but when you've got, you know, kind of unlimited supplies of components at your disposal and it helps you to get exactly the right position, that's a good thing. The mechanic did mention actually just how precise and how I think fussy is the wrong word but just how exact Demar is with his position and that is he will notice if the saddle's a couple of millimeters out of whack so they just have to get it exactly right. This is actually something that was across all of the FTJ bikes which was that the brakes are starting off fully wound out so that they're fully released which is the position that you'd have that quick release thing in if you were going to take the wheel out and the reason they do that is by having that fully released with full brake pads it means over the course of a wet day's racing as the brake pads wear away, the riders can kind of wind the brakes in a bit and keep the same lever throw when they're braking. Good pro tip. The tyres on the bike are Continental Competition Tubular tyres and they are the 25mm ALX Pro Limited version. So 
I can't get them. You can't get them in the stores. It is the moment you have all been waiting for. It's vital statistics time. This bike weighs in at 7.350 kilograms. The saddle height is about 78 centimetres and the reach is about 58 centimetres. There you go. Well, I hope you've enjoyed looking at Arnaud Demars Lapierre Zelius SL. If you have liked this video, please do give it a thumbs up and hit share too. To check out all of our videos from the 2016 Giro d'Italia, just click right there. To see more pro bike videos on GCN, click down there. To subscribe to the channel, click here. And to check out our shop, click down there.